In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Subsistence on Season 5. Alright, so I've got some supplies on me. I want to run over and get some stuff done at the new base. What I specifically want to build is ladder hatches. I'm going to need a lot of ladder hatches to kind of get the build going. I need that center pillar created because everything else is going to spring from that. Not to be too dramatic. Um, I am crafting up all the planks that I have, which is not a lot, unfortunately. And I need to get some more wood. I think I will try to gather it today instead of uh, ravaging hunters for it. But we shall see. How's my chicken doing? Chicken is doing good. What level are you? You're still level one, huh? All right. Oh. I thought I heard something. Hmm. I saw a box over. I'm going to grab that real quick. And then we will get going to the other side. Now, there's been some chatter in my uh, comment section on my videos. Which, hey, everybody's watching and I really do appreciate. But people are like, you know... <clears throat> if you made lockpicks, you wouldn't be short cotton. You wouldn't have to stare and bitch all the time. That, oh, woe is me. I don't have any cotton. Oh, I knew I heard something. I wasn't hearing things. Uh-huh. Okay, hunters. Oh, double hunter attack. You guys want to play? Come on. Oh, you don't have a helmet. Oh, I missed your head. You're about to say, because now you're going to die. Oh, I missed two heads. It's been a few days since I've played. I'm, I've got three hunter attacks on me now. There's a headshot. Two body hits. One more body hit and you're dead. Ah, oh, you moved, you little son of a... Ah, and he dodged that one. Okay, now you're dead. Oh, wow. I've just got... I think I pissed people off. I think I pissed a lot of people off. Yeah, let me get headshots and watch what happens, buddy. Come on, stop. Time for a health... Ah! Dodge that arrow. I saw that one coming in. They're doing some damage to my stuff. I don't like when they damage my stuff. You're going to hide behind that bush, aren't you? Always the shotgun. Always makes you bleed. Even from that far away. <laughs> eh, you're done. Anybody else? Anybody else? Are you guys all else gonna run? I'd run if I were you. Okay, well. Back to what we were talking about. There's been a lot of chatter in my uh, comment section. That if I would just make lockpicks... Then I'd be swimming in cotton seeds. Okay, two things wrong with that. One, I want the game, I want the hunters to supply my lockpicks for me, damn it. Two, I don't need that much cotton. I'm actually doing really good, you know, going after hunters and getting their, um, where's it? there's one over here, I think, yep. And getting padded cloth from them. And when I get cotton, even better. All right, there's one of my missed arrows. How many arrows do I have left? 22. That's not good. Ah, I was so hoping for a lockpick so I could shut people up. Hunters can drop lockpicks. It's extremely rare. I've had it happen once off camera when I wasn't recording, which kind of ticks me off. So I've been holding off. I think I made one. There's an arrow that went flying in here. Question is, where is it? Ah, there it is. Thank you. All right, let's just dump this stuff in my dump chest. We'll grab some food and get headed out. Do I have some arrows already pre-made in here? I do have nine. Okay, that's enough. I'm good with the arrows then. Um. Not hungry enough for that, but I will bring it with me. Drink that. I'm going to not any, eat anything else. 
I'll just let the fire go out. I don't need to keep the fire going. But yeah, people are like telling me, you know, you need to make uh, lock picks so you can open up lock chests because then you'd have all the cotton in the world. I'm sorry to tell you, but honestly, that's not true. I've got five and 19. I'm doing good. I've got cotton planted up there too as well. Now, is it possible I could have some more cotton? Yes, you're completely right. It is very possible. But since the game is completely based on RNG, meaning are you going to see a lock chest? RNG. When you open the lock chest, what are you going to get? Once again, RNG, random number generator. So your chances of getting a cotton seed are a certain percentage. Oh, what? Were you going fishing or something and I just kind of got in your way? Stupid idiot. Make me waste more supplies. I would be okay with it if you gave me a lockpick, but since you didn't, you're a stupid idiot. Man, the hunters are just coming out of the wood. I don't have to go look for hunters. They're coming for me. Oh, oh, oh. Was that a locked chest? Nope, it's just a regular chest. I'm gonna leave it. I wanna keep, I wanna get to the other side. It's almost midday already. Jeesh. Um, but yes, everything is RNG, random number generator, and your percentage chance of getting X item in a chest is each slot is rolled and you'll get a certain number up to a total uh, number of slots can be held by any one type of item, if I understand Cold Games programming correctly. And then it'll say how many you get per slot. So you could get a lock chest that has 30... Ooh, hi, Moose. Uh, I'm going to leave you this time. You could get a chest that has 30 protein bars in it. And I've actually gotten a chest like that. And at first I was upset until I figured, wait a second, I've got protein bars out the yin-yang. It wasn't 30. I think it was at probably at the most 10, maybe 10, 10 or 15, something like that. And I was really disgusted by it because it wasn't what I wanted. Um, and I've gotten some cotton seeds in there before and premium, uh, I mean, regular weapon parts. But usually if I get, you know, if I'm lucky, I might get a couple seeds. And it is your best chance at a large number of seeds at one shot. So if you're trying to get the most bang for your power, mass, and metal, and time, yeah, lock, lock chests are great. But I kind of imposed my own restriction on me. I've let myself uh, craft one lockpick so far because I've said that, you know, I'll do it this once because everybody was asking for me to do it, but I'm imposing this restriction. If the game wants me to unlock a lock chest, it needs to give me a lockpick from a hunter. And I'll do it happily. But until then, I'm not opening lock chests. And I, and I don't think anybody can say they've actually heard me complaining about the cotton. I mean, it slowed me down in the beginning where I didn't have opportunities to get a lot of cotton. But let's be honest, every time I found cotton in just some random, uh, some random bag or out here in the wild, I was wholly excited. It was like, yes, I've got cotton. Now, if I had opened every single lock lock chest that I saw I probably wouldn't be where I'm at right now in the stage of the game probably wouldn't have maybe you know some of the stuff I have now I couldn't have made by now because I would have been wasting it all on lock chests so it's kind of a give and take there's a benefit to it but there's a price to be paid and if that's okay with you if that's the price you want to pay by all means, open every single lock chest that you get, and I wish you luck in getting all the cotton that you're hoping for. I'd rather just keep playing the game. I know I don't need all that cotton. I think the only time that I was kind of feeling the pinch on cotton is when I wanted to go down into cave because I refused to go down there without a second set of uh, gear. You know what? I shouldn't be stupid and let these rabbits go oh scrap metal first then rabbit 
Um, because I used up a lot of bandages, and I need the cloth. All right, now my inventory is getting full. Um, let's go ahead and craft up this cordage to free up the spot. I'll get another rabbit later. But yeah, if that's what you want to do, if you want to go for every... <laughs> The rabbit's like, I'm just gonna walk right in front of you so you can't get past me. It's like, okay, if that's what you wanna do. Hush, little rabbit. I'm gonna turn you into cloth. Don't worry, I'll pick it up. Uh, no, I don't want the meat. I want the cloth. There we go. Uh, and I'm not gonna eat yet. There, haha, <laughs> now I'm happy. So, could I have played the game differently? Yes. But did I need to play the game differently? Well, in my opinion, no. Obviously, some of my viewers are like, you know, go unlock those, you know, go open those locked chests. We don't want to, you know, we're tired of you waiting to find cotton. Yeah, I could have done that. I didn't, and, you know, I won't. It's just the way that I am. I'm obstinate that way. All right. Um, is this going to work the way that I think it will? Well, I think it's going to work. I just don't know if that's correct. All right. Come on. Click in. Click in now. There we go. Now, the only problem with this is if I'm not careful, I can fall to my death by... Eh, by uh, walking into the hole and not uh, being careful about the fact that there is actually a hole here. All right. So far, so good. So far, so good. Um, do I want to steal the wall from down here? I think I do. I love the building system that Cole Game has. It allows you to utilize... You don't have... Sometimes you don't need to waste the resources. Overheating. I'm going to jump in the water to cool off for a few seconds. Might as well. Come on, let me up. Hello. Thank you. Awesome. So I'm gonna, it's going to take at least one more to make it to the top. Huh? Let's get this one in. Let's close this one so that it doesn't cause me to fall. And I'm pretty sure I measured this right. Let me see. Now, I did move my base to a different area. So this might not... Ooh, don't step back too much. Might not exactly land. Oh, actually, it looks like it's going to be pretty damn close. So I need to make one more, huh? And I, I think I actually like the positioning of this. I don't like the spacing there, but that gives me a natural span to go over there to make something. This one's hard up against this, which is okay. That works. Maybe going straight across and then going down. It's an idea. All right. This one should pit, put me right at surface level. Let's see if it does. It does. I can step out immediately from it. Now, there's a gaping hole there. Um, Let's make... A wood ceiling. Oh joy. Goodbye. Let's get back to the surface. Break out my shoddy just in case. <laughs> that bear thought he was going to get a piece of critical. And I'm like, nope, I don't think so.
All right. Ah, that's where the bear was. Well, right now he's not going to bother me because I'm standing on my foundation, so I should be good. <laughs> that couldn't have worked any better almost. That is about as good as it's going to be. And then this is going to be my fighting platform from the top. Um, my one problem is because I'm using ladder hatches, it's very easy to fall down. Yeah, see? If I'm not careful. And because I was off my foundation for a second, that bear got a whiff. All right, let's go ahead and put these resources on here. I do have my BCU. Oh, I do have a foundation here. Hmm. I think I'll leave it for now. I don't need to take that back with me. Um, I'll leave the fiber and the cordage here as well. Split half. Leave half of the wood. All right, let's step out, take a look at what I'm looking at. Oh, nice. So I think I want to enclose that first. Let's get wet real quick. So pull off you and then branch off from there. I want to go at least one or probably one up and then branch over. So I'll branch over that way. And I want to try to go around this rock. I don't know if it's possible yet. I'm going to try though. I don't know if I'm going to do anything with this rock over here. I don't know if it'd be possible if, if how it would look, but we're still going to try to do the Swiss family Robinson idea. So now I need like I need a pod over there, maybe a pod there, and I'll try to do something with that opening right there if I can. Yes, bear, I see you. Um, do I need to do anything else while I'm over here? Oh, hello. Bear's coming away from a rogue hunter. A rogue hunter's going fishing. All right, well, I'm going to kill the bear first. Um, no. I'm going to kill the rogue hunter first. But I'm going to wait until... Hey, hey, hey. No, no. I want to wait till he catches something first because I want to make sure he's got a big old salmon in his pocket for me. Come on. You can catch something. It's okay. I promise to be gentle. Bear, you're causing me nothing but trouble. You know that, right? Did you catch something? Oh, yes, he did. It looks like he got a... It almost looks like a bass. Okay, so I think he caught a bass. The question is, once he gets it, Will he actually have caught a bass after I kill him? Pick up the fish. Pick up the fish. Come on, pick up the fish. And dead. Come here, bear. Oh. What thing I put away? Let's go ahead and harvest you. Thank you. My hands shouldn't be dirty, but that's okay. Let's go see what kind of fish this hunter caught. Oh, it looked like he had a bass. I'm almost sure he had a bass, so I'm calling shenanigans on that. That was a pretty big fish just to get that tiny little one. All right, well, I'll put there. That's my protein on my way home if I need it. And speaking of our way home, we need to get going because it is going to get dark before I even get there. But pretty much it was a good day over here. We've got another bear up here. I think I'll just run past this one. But now I've got a, a good foundation for my base up here. Come on. I don't want you attacking my base. Follow me this way, please. That's right. You want to chase me. Yeah, yep. And you want to keep missing, too. Hey, you gone. Oh, don't run. Don't run for... Runs toward the wolf. Runs toward the wolf. I see how I see what kind of chicken you are. The smart kind. Run toward something else that's going to attack me. 
Oh, I want that bag. Darn it. Are you done? Yeah, but you're gonna keep following. Come here. That's right. Now, if I go back this way, I use that rock. I should be able to go back for that bag. I don't know why, but I got this feeling that there is a cotton seed in that bag. Because the last time I was chased by a bear and couldn't stop for a cotton seed, or was it a wolf? It was something. I couldn't stop for the. Uh... I'm getting this. I don't care. I told you I was getting this. You didn't listen. Okay, so I was wrong about the cotton seed, but I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Okay, I'll stop. I promise. Take all. Let's go wash my hands real quick. Well, at least I took care of any protein issues I was having today. Um, let's swap out. Let's put my uh, rabbit and chicken bow in my heart bar. So on my way back, I will attempt to get rabbits, mainly rabbits. Though some chickens wouldn't be bad. How much wood did I pick up today? Ooh, none. The hunters gave me no wood. I have to spend all night beating trees. That sucks. I'd rather be fishing. Oh, strawberry plant. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Oh, hello, moose. Hmm... Uh, level one. He's going to charge me with this hit right here. What? You're running away? That was a headshot from my rifle. I thought for sure that that uh, moose would charge me after that. Ooh. Uh, I'm going after the moose. I'll leave the rabbit. Come here. That's a good moose. Oh, that was a level three. <laughs> I thought that was a level one. That explains why he didn't uh, charge me when I hit him with my rifle. Okay. Nice. Good, good, good. Uh, cordage. I need some cordage. Oh, no, I don't need cordage. I need some sticks. I want to make a... Just one. Make a stick real quick so I can make a splint just in case. I'll wash my hands off on the pond over here. Gets me one step closer to home. Perfect. And it goes right into the spot where I had it before. Could not have asked for a better outcome for that. At least I did not get infected from the, the moose. Okay, reload. Let's reload my rifle real quick, just in case I need it. Uh, chicken. I don't want a chicken. I'd really rather get some more rabbit. I'm scanning to the side. I seem to find rabbits when I look to the side than if I look the direction I'm actually going. Or it just feels that way. Let's follow this path up. I know exactly where I'm at. I just don't want to... I have a better feeling to find a rabbit this side than that side of the path. But maybe it's not my day. I see a wolf. Ooh, hello. And what, pray tale, do you have within you? Actually, some stuff that I need. Nails for sure. I don't have any room for cordage and that. What do I want to get rid of? You know, I'll eat the strawberry. And I'll eat the fish. Both resources I didn't want to get rid of, so... Strawberry and fish. Fill my gut a little bit. Make the trip home a little bit easier. My stamina is going down, so I do need to be careful. Alright. Rabbit heaven, typically, over here. I see you, Cottontail. 
but I want you to stop first, just to be on the safe side. Uh, I think I see a hunter too. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, that was funny. Sorry, I had to cough. But that was damn funny. I have a spot. I'm going to grab that uh, strawberry and eat it. <laughs> Rabbit was on its uh, uh, desk doorstep. Because I picked him up and dropped him, he was able to keep running. Okay, it was a wolf. I'm finding a lot of uh, strawberries today. Interesting. Um, okay, warthog. I'm going to leave the warthog alone. I don't need the fat from him right now. I don't want to waste resources. Uh, I do not know where you're at. So I'm just going to keep going the direction that I'm going. Stamina at 78. I should be good. And it sounds like he's already uh, stopped. Good, good. He was winded enough already. Awesome. Yeah, I, I hear you, Wolf. I even saw you, but keep keep your distance. I'm not in the mood. I'm going to leave it because I'd rather get a rabbit. All right, sun is starting to set. Ooh, blueberry. We are going to make it home before the sun sets. I'm pretty sure about that. Now, I'd rather have a rabbit or two, you know, at least a cloth from them, so I can make some more bandages, but... Figures can't be choosers. We've got to take what we can get. Base is right over there. I'll keep moving this way. I thought for sure I'd see a rabbit in this area. What's what happens when I pass up on a rabbit? I don't see any more for the rest of the day when I actually want them. I mean, for the most part, it was a good day. I just wasted a lot of resources in the beginning. Probably could have... skipped fighting the hunters and just left my base. Might have been the best thing I could have done, at least for my resources. I mean, for the video, it was more fun fighting the hunters, but I have to be honest. Ooh, nice. I've been so hoping for a cotton seed so I can go, see, I don't need no stinking chest. I got everything that I need. Oh, power's up to 100. That's awesome drop off my meat so it doesn't go bad. Pop these resources in here. Um, let's turn that directly into bandages. Decent. I definitely need to spend the night getting wood. That is my priority for the evening. Is going out and getting wood has to be my priority. I mean, I was walking out there with all my scrap metal. Oof, that was dangerous. I definitely was not playing smart. All right, the sun is setting. I'm going to call the episode here, and then I'm going to get out and get some wood and some dirty water while I'm out. But I've been critical. This has been subsistence on season five. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.